As early spring hits, rising temperatures across the country trigger one of the most iconic spring events. Thousands of frogs leave their winter hibernation sites in places like disused mammal burrows, traveling back to their birth pool with one thing on their mind. It's time to find a mate. The males use a single vocal sac under the chin to fill the air with a croaking chorus. Each call traveling around 50 meters. The loudest and longest calls attract the female and matches are made. Until very recently, it was thought that common frogs mated quite randomly. But research conducted this year has revealed hidden secrets. Male frogs have an area called a nuptial pad on their forelegs, which allows them to latch onto the female in a position called amplexus. But it seems their function is more than just practical. The new study has found that males with larger nuptial pads are more likely to win partners. So female common frogs are more discerning than we thought. For them, bigger really is better. After what can be 24 hours in amplexus, the female has laid around 2,000 eggs, which are fertilized by the male sperm. Once in water, the coating around the eggs swells to around one centimeter across, producing the familiar masses of frog spawn we all know. They've got a long way to go. Only one in 50 will survive to become adults. To maximize their chances, the embryos can develop quickly, taking part in a transformative dance, forming external gills and a mouth. And in just two weeks, the tadpole hatches. Little more than a mouth, gills, and a tail. At first, the tadpoles feed on frog spawn remains. After around a week, the tadpole is strong enough to swim and search for algae and small plants to eat. But their vegetarian diet doesn't last long. After a few weeks, their hind limbs begin to form and they develop teeth and turn carnivorous. Now, they crave something more. Eating insects and other less fortunate tadpoles. Around 12 weeks after hatching, the surviving tadpoles look like tiny frogs. The tail is reabsorbed by the tadpole and used as a source of protein. And the froglet emerges from the water. A dexterous feeding machine. It'll be between two and three years before they return to the water to breed. When this cycle starts all over again. <laughs> 